What's up guys, Jared here with Staying Tall Auto Reviews and today I got a video for you guys of this 2016 Infiniti QX80. As you guys know, Infiniti is the luxury brand of Nissan and today we're gonna bring this one to you. It's absolutely massive, this thing's huge. I drove it down here to the location that we're at currently and it was uh, interesting driving just because how big it is. Let's go ahead, do a thorough walk around to the outside, show off the inside and um, see how 6'6 Jared fits in. Starting off with the headlights, very good design. I like the way it looks. It's an LED headlight. You have the little housing right there, and then you have more of your housing there. Down here, we have our turn signal along with our fog lights down at the bottom. And then taking it to the middle, we have the massive infinity grill with the infinity symbol to make sure you know what you have. And then we have some ventilation down here also for this massive 5.6 liter V8. Um, we'll show that off soon. Going ahead and coming around, it's more of the same throughout here. So I'll go ahead and show this off, this off right here. So we have the chrome trim along with the ventilation there. We have 5.6 showing off what engine you have and then taking it to the wheels. Very nice looking design. I do like the finish that they did put on them. And let's see what we got going on here. So we got P275 60R20s, so 20 inch rims. Um, helps the car ride really good. Fits the car well, I do like it. On the side, while we keep it down, we got the running boards, just to make sure that it's showing off. And then coming up to the mirror over here, we have a turn indicator along with a camera at the bottom. And it's a very interesting design. In fact, if you look at the mirror right here, it's like a square shape. And then we're gonna bring it up to the top. We have our roof rails on both sides in the nice silver finish. And then going towards the back, we have chrome door handles. The two up front, you can press the button to lock and unlock. And then the, you can see the body slopes back. Tail lights, I really do like the way the tail lights look in this thing. I like how they kind of smooth in right here. And we have the reverse at the corner. And then we have infinity, in case nobody knows what you're driving. It spells it out for you. We have the badge again. Rear windshield wiper, like these SUVs have. Has like a interesting finish right here. It is a pretty good material. It's really hot actually, that burned my hand a bit. And then bring it to this side, we have our gas cap. And there's not a whole lot more to show off on the outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in so you guys can see 6'6 six, Jared six inside. Real quick, before I do, let me show off the key fob. So it's this key fob has been around for ages. I don't know why Nissan won't change it, but you know, it is what it is, it's the same thing. And so this seat is all the way adjusted. And so this is what it looks like. It will work for a tall person, but I will say that it's kind of on the small side. So it's 39.9 inches of leg or headroom and 39.6 inches of legroom. If I'm wrong, I'll correct that, but it's just not that great on the legroom side of things. But let's go ahead and show off this interior and so you can see what it's more about. All right guys, so we're inside the Infiniti QX80. We're gonna go ahead and start with the left side. So here is your door handle, and then you have your mirror controls, window controls, all that good stuff right here. Nice plush material too, that's worth pointing out. This is the door handle. You got your seat settings right here along with this little wood trim, which is really nice looking, uh, wood paneling. The vent has an interesting design up here, it goes all the way up. And then bringing it down here, we have our lift gate controls along with our dimming and all that good stuff. Steering wheel, it's got an interesting shape to it. Feels really good, it's got wood here along with leather down there. And then you have all of your good controls for your phone, all that good stuff. The setup up here looks really nice. It has a nice little, um, how do I put it, like design in there. And I don't know how to describe it, but it looks really good along with the blue accenting that it has. You have your nice little display in the middle showing temperature, miles, all that good stuff. Bring it over to the right side. We have our touchscreen display right here along with our vents. We have some radio controls. We do have where we can cycle through all of our camera views right here. Then we also have map right here. You can hit map, shows the map on there. And then bringing it down, we have the actual analog clock right there. 
along with volume controls, all your radio controls, six disc CD changer for the people that love to use CDs still. This is your tuner for your radio stations. Climate controls all on the bottom. And then we have heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then we also have our 12 volt down there. Shifter, this is what it looks like. You have the chrome in the middle along with the nice leather looking material here. It's a bit softer on the bottom. We do have a little sport mode where you can kind of manually shift right there. Right here we have snow mode, tow mode, and traction control on and off. And then opening this up where this wood panel is, you got cup holders, 12 volt, little cubby. Same thing right here. We have a, get that out of the way, USB with a little cubby. Going over to this side, it's got a nice little shape going on right there. And it's a decent material, feels pretty good. And then the center armrest is very, very plush. Plus in here, show this off. You have the old school video connections, video audio connections along with the deep space. Seats, very comfortable seats. They're nice and plush. They have the perforated wavy design in them. Same thing down here too. I have my stuff right there. And then there is your rear view and then sunglass holder, lights, and your sunroof right there. Overall, it's pretty good in here. Also gotta mention, Bose sound system in this thing. Sounds phenomenal. Would show it, but YouTube says otherwise. Very nice car though. Very comfortable, rides great. We're gonna go ahead though, show off the back seat, and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so we're gonna hop in the back seat by myself to see how a 6'6 person sits behind a 6'6 person. So hopping in. The back seat has plenty of room, so if you got kids, this will work out great. They'll have plenty of space. It's very comfortable back here. Seats feel good. Going ahead and showing off a bit. So we have our oh crap handles right here. We have air vents that are up top. It's got this kind of design going on to it. And then let me take this over so I can show off the rest. So we have our climate controls for the rear seat right down there. We can kind of control it however you want. We have our center armrest back here. Again, very comfortable. Along with cup holders down there. And you can put some stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Back seats, same thing going on as the front. And we do have little tweeter speakers. But I wanna go ahead and show you guys the rear cargo space. So let's head back. All right, everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and show off the rear cargo space. Real quick, I didn't get to mention it with the key. So you do have a remote start, that's worth mentioning. And also, we're gonna open the back by holding right here. So we'll do that. Like magic, it comes up. We'll give it just a moment. It beeps too to let everyone know to clear. And going ahead, come to the back space. Plenty of room for groceries, whatever you gotta carry. It does have third row seating with cup holders back here for whenever the third row does come back. You can control the seats with these buttons here. And then we're gonna take it over to the left side, 12 volt back here. So we do have that. There's also space down under here, which if you lift, you'll see. You can put your stuff down in there. And overall, there's plenty of room back here. You can do all kinds of things. You can use this for camping if you want to. Like I said, groceries. There's plenty of usability in this thing. And before I hit my head, I'm gonna clear this real quick. And then if you wanna clo close it, beeps again so you don't hit your head. And it slowly works its way down. And there we go. So this is a very practical SUV. Um, it's got the nice interior, good space, um, drives great. Let's go ahead, show off that 5.6 liter engine. Okay, so for the engine on this QX80, we have a 5.6 liter V8 making 400 horsepower at 5,800 RPMs and 413 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPMs. This is all running through a seven speed automatic shiftable transmission. You can get this in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, whatever you choose. You're gonna get a 26 gallon fuel tank that will take premium fuel. So it is gonna be pricey, especially right now. For the rear wheel drive model, it's 14 city, 20 highway, 16 combined. For all wheel drive, 13 city, 19 highway, 15 combined. So you take a hit in every category. Your max towing capacity is 8,500 pounds. And the curb weight on these models is 5,633 rear wheel drive, 5,878 all wheel drive. 
overall great engine great power just not the most practical thing for the current times with the gas prices but if you want it still worth getting let's go ahead take a drive okay guys so setting off in the qx80 just gonna go ahead and mention this real quick it rides really really nice and i'm gonna look down and make sure i know where i'm going so i don't get a little confused um but it rides great. Uh, one thing you have to get used to, and this is, I mentioned this in the Forerunner video and I mentioned it again. If you're used to driving a small car and you're out here driving in this, you have a lot to get used to. And uh, let me let these people go. So, at least they waved. That's always good to see. Um, but yeah, drives great. Like going over the speed bump right here. You can barely notice that you're going over it. And that's just great. And the V8 has plenty of power. Steering is pretty light. That is something I will note. That is a thing with modern cars, so it makes sense, but it is light, like right now. You expect to feel some weight, but you don't. But it just, it drives great. It drives really good. I'll go ahead and I'll give it a little power once I get out of this roundabout. I mean, kind of hear it and see it. So here we go. And as you can see, it gets up and goes. Drives great. It's not loud. You can kind of hear the engine rumble just a little bit, but I mean, it is definitely not loud. But overall, I mean, if you're looking to get one of these, I would say it's worth it. They have gone down a good bit from when they were new, so you can get a pretty good deal on them. I do know they're similar to the Nissan Armada, um, you know, the slight bits here and there. But I mean, if you're looking into getting one, I would recommend getting one. Just, you know, do your research first. But um, let's go ahead and go to the next part of this video wherever I put it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you out. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share this with your friends, follow us on social media at Staying Tall Auto Reviews, drop comments down below if you have any questions, concerns, or any ideas. And until the next video, I'll see you guys, peace out.